Adam here with the Walzer Automotive Group, but what I want to do today is take you on a test drive. So next to me here, I have a 2024 Chevrolet Silverado. Now this is the LT Crew Cab trim, so we'll look at some of the options that are available, engine options, interior, exterior, and then see what it's like out on the road. Okay, so now we're behind the wheel of the Chevrolet Silverado 1500. And again, this is the LT with the crew cap. So there is a ton of trim levels when looking at the Silverado, not to mention also the HD lineup. So there's a lot of ways to configure these, but this one is just a few steps above the base model. Now the LT is great because it gives you a lot of really cool equipment. So let's put it in drive. We'll go around and talk about some of that stuff. So to start, we've always got our phones with us, right? So this one is going to get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So I've got my phone set up, Google Maps, Spotify, text messaging. It's all through the infotainment screen. It's really easy to use. It's straightforward and it makes it very safe when you're on the go. Now, this infotainment screen does house quite a bit of information. There's lots of stuff, but once you get used to it, it's really cool, and I love the usability out of this. Whether it's your safety stuff, your music, there's built-in navigation in here. There's a ton of cool stuff with the Chevy Silverado, so that is definitely a great feature. Now, if you're looking at the work truck or the trim below this, there's just the smaller kind of standard display that also works very well, but I think it's worth the upgrade. <laughs> So with the LT, this one can be configured a few different ways. Now, this one obviously is the bench seat. So you've got the armrest in here. You can actually flip this up so you get a six passenger layout. But I mean, more or less, I think it really kind of depends on what you're looking for. This one keeps the column shifter. The other one would go to kind of more of the standard center console shifter. I think it is kind of a horse apiece. If you're kind of feels a little bit more like a work truck set up this way, but both of them are really nice and it does make it pretty easy to have the cup holders, the storage, and if you need that jump seat, someone can hop in the center here with a seat belt. Now, this also will get the dual zone climate control and in the back, you're also gonna have vents back there. Not to mention, you're also gonna get USB charging and there is a household plug-in. So if you got the family with you, if you're going on the road trip, everybody's gonna have all their devices charged up and everyone should be nice and happy. Now, let's talk about the engine. So maybe you can hear, this one is the Turbo Max. So it does change your fuel economy or your towing capacity, depending on which engine you're looking at. There's a couple different V8s, there's also a diesel option, but this one is going to tow 9,500 pounds. As you go up from here, the maximum towing capacity is gonna be about 11,500, and it does change the payload a little bit as well. But I think if you're towing maybe the boat to the lake and you're just kind of bopping around town, the Turbo Max is more than enough power to get you out. I mean, this is a 50 mile an hour road. We're up and cruising right away. And that turbo does sound kind of cool. So that's also an added benefit there. Now, this is the 4x4 model. So you can do a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. There's different bed lengths or the different cabs. But I think most of the time people are going to be looking at the crew cab and then maybe the V8s or the four-cylinder. But I don't think there's really a bad option. The diesel would be the most efficient one. But if you're not looking to kind of mess with the diesel pumps all the time, you've got the regular 5.3 or the 6.2. So let's talk about the digital gauge cluster. So it's a full digital display on there. It's very configurable. You can change the left side, the right side. You can pretty much set the different layout of the dash. It's gonna give you all of your pertinent information like you'd expect. And what's cool about this one, if you set up a trailer, there's a ton of different towing stuff you can do as well. This one does get the brake controller. You can program in whether it's the boat and enclosed trailer and it will remember that. And it makes it really easy to tow as well. Now this one, the backup camera is amazing. It's got the full 360, the bird's eye look. So straight down, you can pick side to side, front or back. It makes it really easy. Like I said, if you're trailering or just trying to see what's going on, maybe the kids left some stuff in the driveway, you can pull up the camera at any time by clicking the button in the infotainment. And that is a great safety feature. So speaking of safety, this is gonna have the blind spot monitoring, which someone's in my blind spot now, it's gonna light up that side mirror. It's got some different adaptive cruise control settings. So if you're doing a lot of highway driving, that is a pretty sweet feature as well. And this one gets one of my favorite features, which is the heated steering wheel. So for those Minnesota winners, this actually comes standard with the remote start. So you can fire it up, get the heated steering wheel going, and these cloth seats are also heated. So they don't get so hot in the summer and they heat up very nicely in the winter time. There's also things like the parking sensors all the way around the vehicle front and back. So it will start to beep if you get a little bit close to something. And there's a few little buttons on the center here. So you can lower all the windows at once. That's gonna be your lane departure warning. You can turn on and off and you can always go into the infotainment screen and turn off some of those features if you don't want some of that added safety stuff. Now, like I said, the back seats are great. You can actually fold up that second row. So if you need a little bit of extra storage space, if the truck bed's not quite enough for you, you can kick those up. And I 
think it's something like you can fit a full-size bicycle back there so there is a ton of room but now speaking of the truck bed this one gets the spray-in bed liner you've got plenty of tow hooks back there there's also the plug-in in the back so if you're on a job site or out camping that is very convenient as well and this one gets that soft open tailgate it's not the multi-flex gate that would be a different trim level if you're looking for that but pretty much just soft close it's really easy to close back up as well there's not a lot of stress to try and bend down and push it up like some of the tailgates of the past but overall i mean pretty great payload i think it's around 1900 pounds for the payload in the back there but like I said, if you're towing, cruising around town, this one with the four cylinder can be rated about 22 MPG. With the four wheel drive, it dips a little bit from there. But like I said, 9,500 pound towing capacity and a little bit of added benefit to the fuel economy does make the Turbo Max a pretty good option. Now, let's talk about the price. So this one, as configured with a few other added things in, the MSRP is gonna be right around 58,000. Now, at the time of filming right now, this one with the discounts and a few other things going on, it's gonna be right around $50,000. So that to me, that makes this a ton of truck for the money. Even if you're looking at maybe one trim level below this, you're still gonna be kind of in the mid 40s with a few discounts on there. So if you need a full-size truck, the 1500, there's lots of good stuff that's available in these Silverados. And if you wanna go extra fancy, get all the good stuff, the high country is amazing. There's a ton of cool equipment in those, whether it's the added safety, the convenience, or just some of that luxury stuff, there's pretty much an option for anyone. So in recap, I love the infotainment display, the backup camera, the Apple CarPlay is awesome in here. I love the driving position of the Silverados. They're really comfortable out on the road. The Turbo Max is great. The diesel option really gives you that added fuel economy benefit. I think it's something like the two wheel drive diesel can get up to 33 miles per gallon on the highway. So that's almost small crossover SUV efficient, but I mean, the equipment, the outside is great. I mean, the Silverado looks so good with the C-designed headlights, those LEDs look really cool, and just the usability of the Silverado. I mean, if you're shopping between, obviously, Ford, Chevy, the Ram pickups, there's lots of good stuff that each one of those trucks can give you. The Chevys, I think, can tow a little bit more than the Rams. Some of the price points will be a little bit different depending on what you're looking on, but I mean, it's hard to argue with all the equipment style of the Chevy Silverado. And I think if you're shopping for one of these trucks, you gotta get out, take one for a spin, see what you think. Now, that was just a quick look and drive in the 24 Chevrolet Silverado. If you have any other questions or you'd like to schedule a test drive for yourself, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by anytime, we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.